Okay, so before we begin, I just want to make a quick announcement. For the three people who watch my channel for my Overwatch content, I will be returning to that shortly. I have a couple more videos planned. They should be up within one to two weeks. Alright, let's begin. So, a long time ago, in the planet we're still currently living in, yes, Europe was like, hey, let's not die from the Black Death. Let's go to India to get some spices so our food doesn't taste like literal garbage. However, the Ottoman Empire just sat there and cockblocked all of Europe from India. And Portugal wasn't having any of that shit. So they're like, we're gonna get the way to India, guys. We're gonna get there. However, all their ships were literal Altai monkey and couldn't go three feet into the ocean without sinking. So they're like, we need to make some better ships. And then the Carvel ship was born. Yes, this is like the ice cream company that's around today. This is how it started. Sitting in Portugal, sailing around the ocean in some giant scoops of ice cream. I'm not kidding, this is how it happened, guys. Look it up. And then soon, Vasco da Gama reached India on a giant scoop of ice cream, and he got some dank spices there. He's like, this shit's good, guys. We need more of it. So, a few years later, a lot of mail ages in India, they got some spices and all that shit. They're like, this new raid in India is good, but we need a better one. And Christopher Columbus is like, I got you guys. So Columbus is like, maybe if I sail that way to India, we'll get there. So then he approached the Spanish government with this idea. And this is like me trying to ask out a girl I have absolutely no chance with. Of course I'm going to get rejected. Mary, if you're watching this, I'm looking at you. But this is what Columbus did differently. He kept asking the Spanish government. And so eventually they just had to say yes. Hey Columbus, if you give you a bunch of money to sail halfway across the world, will you get the fuck out of our face? And he's like, yeah. And so he did that. So he sailed to India, but not really. So a few more voyages to India later, Mary Gova Swoochie's like, wait a second. I'm not sure if this is India. We just been heckin' bamboozled. And they're like, this is India. And then they're like figuring out, and they're like, holy shit, it's a new continent. And everyone's like, oh my god, we gotta, we gotta do stuff about this. So then Spain and Portugal, is all, they're all over this. They're all exploring America and crap. And this escalated into the Treaty of Tortillas, where Spain and Portugal decided to split up the world. And this is some art of the deal bullshit Spain pulled on Portugal, like super hard. They're like, all right, Portugal, we're going to split up the world to see who gets each half. We get, we get all of this. We get all of this, all the gold, all the stuff. And there, there's some Indians there that might kill us. They don't know we have guns. And you get, you get Brazil. That's, like, really good because there's going to be, like, some good soccer players there. And then a shit ton of famine and, like, death. So then the conquistadors came out and just started to colonize the new world. And so... The Aztecs saw Cortez and they're like, well, facial hair is pretty cool, and they thought he was a god, and then he murdered them all. And then Francisco Pizarro got to the Incas, and he's like, just accidentally walked on them having a civil war, and he's like, I can do something about this. And he killed them all. All in the name of Jesus Christ, why the fuck did you kill all the Indians? What happened to not killing people? Moses, where are you? Take these guys out. But I regress. So after some colonizing, both the colonizers and the Indians did some disease trading. The Europeans are like, smallpox, measles, all this other crap. And then the Native Americans are like, who watches syphilis? And all of Europe died, but not really. So then afterwards, the incoming end of the system was born, or as I like to call it, diet slavery. This promised to Christianize and colonize the Natives if they put in some aardvark. And this happened, and yeah. Alright, so this escalated. Natives didn't like any of this. This escalated into Popeye's Rebellion, and where all the Spanish Indians and the Pueblo people just decided, we're gonna burn down Santa Fe and tear apart all of the churches, and then they evicted some giant spinach shrines in Santa Fe, and they were everywhere. And so eventually Spain is like, we gotta, you gotta take this out. And so they did. And then later, Padre's mascot is like, we can build some churches here, and he built some sick ass churches in Cali. And they're still there today. That's pretty cool. Alright, so to summarize, Spain, using the pro-Korean god strats, got to America first, just like a 12-year-old commenting first on Jake Paul's new video. And they got there first and established one of the largest empires of the early modern era. If you're a true comrade, please leave a like and subscribe for more of this insanity.